Good morning, welcome back. It is Monday, as you know, that means it's Mailbag Monday, where we're going to review 20 NASCAR Hero cards that I recently picked up. Well, I shouldn't say recently, it was back in about August, but uh, a bunch of Hero cards I picked up in a Facebook group transaction way back. So, you know the role. We're just going to go ahead and dive right in, and we're going to start off in, <coughs> excuse me, 1995. Actually, I think this might be 19... No, it's 1995. Bush Series driver, Chad Little. With the extra strength bare aspirin car. And as you see, uh, Mark Rippon, former quarterback for the Redskins, was the team owner. There's some information about the team. Uh, there you see Harold Holly on the front tires. That's pretty impressive. He'd go on to become a crew chief, as well as chassis specialist. Gary Cogswell, there's crew chief. Mike Eggy always built strong motors, so Chad Little starts us off. Sticking with 1995, but going to the cup side for Bill Davis Racing, Randy LaJoy. Randy started the season with this team and would be released about midway through. If you listen to Randy on various podcasts, basically says that the sponsor didn't want him in the car for whatever reason. But <clears throat> kind of turbulent times there. Randy would go on to find greater success in the Bush series a couple of years later. Wow, and it seems like we're going to stick with 1995 in the Cup Series. Jimmy Spencer driving for Travis Carter Motorsports. Those two were a really good pairing. They had a lot of great runs. Probably three or four races they should have run should have won during that time. This card's a little bit bigger than the other ones, so I'll put it there on the top. <clears throat> But yeah, there's a few races that they finished second, third, fourth, and they had a couple pulls. But I think with a little luck, they could have won a handful of races. Go to the truck series now, looking for the year on this one. Looks like it's going to be 2006. Former champion Jack Sprague driving for Weiler Racing. It's a short lived team. Not, ever, not sure really what happened to them. 1998 brings us back to the truck series with Ken Schrader. Federated Auto Parts. He's had a long relationship with those folks. Xfinity Series 2022. Brandon Jones. If not for his teammate being silly on the last lap of the Fall Martinsville race... Brandon Jones would have been in the championship four at Phoenix. Going back to 2022 in the Cup Series. Double check of the year. Yeah, 2022. The Daytona 500 winner that year, Austin Sendrick. Sendrick had a... I mean, he really didn't have a great season after he won Daytona. But last year was kind of a bummer and... Sure, he hopes to turn that all around this year. 1994 to the Cup Series we go with Rusty Wallace and a very, very 90s-esque color pattern there. There's Rusty. Information about the MGD team, Roger Penske. What year is this? 1995. Be Sterling Marlin. In the Cup Series. This had a coupon on it, I'm sure. Probably for like a free roll of film or something. But uh, Kodak Film Race Team. Of course, 1995, they switched to Monte Carlo from the Lumina. Sterling got his second and third career wins that year. What year is this? Looks like 19... I'm sorry, no... Probably 2000, 2001. Scott Strickland, Junie Don Levy. And I say 2000 because it has career highlights 2000, but I'm trying to remember when he ran this car. So probably 2001, I'm going to imagine. No, uh, I don't see any. But there's uh, Junie Don Levy's car owner career highlights, and at that point, Hutt's career highlights. That should have won a race or two, but just again, bad luck. 1996, back to the Bush Series we go. Glenn Allen, driving for 
I can't remember if it was J and J Racing or pa Bill Papke Racing or something. This might tell us on the back. There's the '96 Bush schedule. There's a little bit of information about Glenn Allen and uh, car. Da -da 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 -da. Team owner Bill Papke. So he bought it from uh, probably John Jackson. I believe was the owner of J and J Racing, if I remember correctly. 2009. I do not remember this one. But in the Nationwide Series for Junior Motorsports, Scott Wimmer with Fastenal sponsorship. Of course, that was about the time um, Fastenal bailed off of Ganassi and went over to, because they were on the Ganassi team in 2008. And that was kind of a, I want to call it a dirty move by Fastenal. Because uh, Brian Clausen, Dario Franchitti, and a few others had been driving the Fastenal car in the Nationwide Series for Ganassi the previous year. 2008, Earnhardt Ganassi happens the merger, and so Ganassi switches from Dodge to Chevy. Well, Fastenal basically says breach a contract, we want out, you switch manufacturers, and they go over to another Chevy team. So I kind of thought that was a little dirty by Fastenal just because, you know, they want to be part of the bigger team. I understand that, but... <clears throat> just the way the contracts are written. Up next, staying in the Bush Nationwide Xfinity Series, looks like it is uh, looks like 2006, perhaps? 2005? Yeah, 2006. John Wood, with uh, some coupons here. We might look at those here in a second. But that was JTG Racing before Brad Doherty got on board, I believe. But look, you can save a dollar on two Glad items, Armor All. These uh, expired 20-some uh, years ago, so we're not going to try to cash those in. 1996 Cup Series, Jeff Bodine and that uh, QVC sponsorship that, in Jeff's words, pretty much didn't pan out because they quit paying. He doesn't mention them specifically in podcasts that he's in but you know it by the timeline. We're going back to 2007 with the 2005, I believe that says 2000, I know 2006, the reigning truck series champion at the time, Todd Bodine. With the Lumber Liquidators. This team was around for a minute. Germain Racing before they moved up to the Cup Series. 1997, we're going to stay in the truck series. We've seen this guy a few times, Terry Cook, one of the inaugural trucks for the now strong Thor Sport organization. <clears throat> Excuse me. I believe this is 19, yeah, 1993 Bush series. David Green making a return after a year off. He raced for Fillmore in 1991, didn't have a ride for 92. Basically worked on Bobby's team, Bobby Labonte, who drove this car. Bobby Labonte won the title in 91, then got called up to Cup. I'm sorry, yeah, Bobby won it in 91, finished second in 92, then got called up in 93, and that's when David took over. What year is this one? This is another Bush series one. It's got to be 95 or 96. 96. Bush series. Mike Wallace. This is the Barry Owen car. Uh, Barry carried number nine for quite a while. And when Mike started having some crossover sponsors from his cup car, like the Heilig Myers and Duron Paints, they decided to do their team colors and styling much like his cup car got a couple more to go then we're going to call it a day 2009 for the truck series mr david star ht motorsports really don't remember them david's bounced around a little bit in his career has a handful of truck series wins would have liked to have seen him got a championship got to meet him a few times down in indy always nice to talk to has a really good podcast that I enjoy. And then our final one for the day. 
it's got to be 2023 Cup Series Brad K. A King's Hawaiian paint job. That is definitely easy to see on the TV. And I'm sure on the track, I've not got to see this car in person yet. Maybe maybe he'll run at Indy. Maybe we'll be down there. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. I will have later this week at least two flea market find videos coming up. We went to uh, several flea markets on Saturday and found a new one. Like I need another place to go throw money in. But I uh, found another flea market. They had a lot of NASCAR stuff and really, really good prices. So I'm going to basically have one show that's going to be a die cast and then one that's going to be everything else. So I hope you guys look forward to seeing those. Not sure what days I'll put those out yet. Still debating that. But there'll be two flea market find videos this week. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you at noon for Fast Packs.